What's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and today we back with another death battle for y'all. And we got the Gojo versus Makima, Jujutsu Kaisen versus Chainsaw Man. Now, hold on, let me make sure I silence my phone and such, because I don't want to hear no distractions and such. But yeah, we here with this one and. From my last one that I reacted to, which was the Megatron versus Freezer. Look, some of y'all in the comments on that video, y'all were saying about how they hold Megatron and so and such. Look, and you because Freezer not look. All I'm gonna say is, look, I know I was picking Freezer to win, so I got that. But hey, look, don't blame me. Take y'all beefs with them, <laughs> cause y'all be wanting to start a freaking comment war on that video. But hey, either way, it is what it is. So if you want, go complain to them. I'm just, it is. But either way, you are entitled to what you wanna say, so I can't stop y'all. But for this one, this one right here is gonna be a little bit tricky for me, cause on one hand. Y'all know we like Gojo right here. Gojo is that, he that nigga, right? But on the other hand, Makima, Mr. Miss, mm, hey, all I, cause I see in the description where it says, who would win this cursed matchup? It's hard for me to tell. So if I had to guess, anyone, I'm not even going to, I'm, all right, you know what I'm gonna go with? I'm gonna go with Gojo, just for right now. I'm gonna go with Gojo. They're probably gonna prove me wrong, but for right now, I'm gonna go with Gojo. So hopefully, Gojo, you don't fuck this up for me. So we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp and HelloFresh. Satoru Go. Gojo, Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcerer Sensei. Makama, Chainsaw Man's head of Tokyo Public Safety. These two paranormal mentors are so strong that they change the very worlds they exist in. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Death battle. Japan, December 7th, 1989. Satoru Gojo okay. was born and the world change. And in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen, invisible cursed spirits Curses. born from negativity threaten humanity. So it's up to the Jujutsu Sorcerers to do battle with them. And what better way to learn the trade than to sign up for Tokyo Jujutsu High? At this institution, a sorcerer will learn Yuji. to harness their cursed energy, or the spiritual manifestation of intense emotion. It's like Ki, but if Ki desperately needed therapy. With it, mm. sorcerers can boost their physicality and perform devastating curse techniques. Anything from uh, voodoo dolls to swapping places with mere class. And yeah. lucky for humanity, Satoru Gojo's the best. So let's see what we got here. So we got Gojo, age 29. Damn, that is young for his ass. Height, 6'3", strongest modern special grade jiu-jitsu sorcerer, teacher at Tokyo Jiu-Jitsu High, likes Dato, his students, Digimon, I'm done. Dislikes Kenjaku, alcohol, higher-ups. Um, why you put Among Us? Why is Among Us there? I don't know. But yeah, them higher-ups, yeah. It's basically like this. With Gojo, he's that type of grown-up where even though, even though he's young for his age, 29, he don't fuck with the higher-ups who are talking about the... What can you say? Like the typical thing to do and such. And hey, it is what it is. Best sensei a sorcerer could ask for. Gojo isn't just the best, he's known as the strongest. His very birth forced the strength of curses to exponentially rise. Like witnessing a world record get broken, cursed society shifted to match the might of Gojo's presence. As a kid, Gojo knew he was the shit. He mastered the art of the riz, the hoops, and the curse murdering, all alongside Sugaru Ghetto, his sorcerer BFF. Together, they planned on changing Jujutsu society for 
for the better. And if anyone could do it, Gojo could. Thanks to his bloodline, he got one of the most busted anime powers ever, Limitless. Limitless grants Gojo a nigh-perfect defense by actualizing the very concept of infinity. It creates an in- Hey bro, I will never forget that scene where this nigga Gojo beat the ever-loving shh out of Jago. Jago? The, the guy with the volcano head. He, bro, this is when you know, this nigga literally was beating him so bad. You know how savage you gotta be to beat somebody so bad, pause in the middle of the fight, go get one of your students, come back, and then finish the fight? Different breed, Gojo. Different Even in space around himself, stopping anything coming his way, the dude is literally untouchable. Kind of. Limitless. Gojo tailored Limitless to automatically detect an object's mass and velocity. As the difference between himself and an object decreases, Limitless halves the object's velocity. It's like Zeno's paradox. Think of it this way. If you're trying to get from point A to point B, first you gotta go halfway, then you gotta go another halfway, then another and another, and, and so on. With Limitless, you'll never arrive, just like my alimony payments. Hence, yeah. infinity. Yeah, it might sound complicated, but it basically creates a spatial force field around Gojo at all times. Techniques on this level would burn out other sorcerers in Basically saying that nigga, you ain't even gonna touch me. You can't even touch me, even if you're close to me. That's basically, just to sum it up in my dumb version, you can say, nigga, you can come as close as you want, but this is basically how close you're gonna touch to me. You see where my hands are? Literally like this. Barely touching that nigga. Seconds. That's where Gojo's incredible six eyes come in. They let him see and near perfectly control cursed energy at the atomic level. So he'll basically never run out of juice in a fight. He isn't just built different, he was born different. different. Six eyes and limitless gave Gojo the power to manipulate space itself. Gojo's lapse blue technique attracts and condenses space into singularity. With reversal red, Gojo does the opposite, repelling space. Think push and pull. But you may be asking, how does one accomplish this with cursed energy? Energy. With math! <laughs> Curses! Exactly! Curse energy is typically negative, like with blue, but when multiplied by itself, Dodgy. negative curse energy becomes positive, creating red. Oh, strawberry and blueberry! So, what happens when you combine a positive and a negative? Uh, grape? Zero! And by combining reversal red and lapsed blue, Gojo creates hollow purple, an enormous ball of curse energy that literally applies the concept of zero to an opponent, crushing and repelling them into nothing. Gojo's a walking cursed Swiss army now. Basically like this, Gojo is literally, if anyhow you can put, well, let's say like this, in like a human way, if you were to compare Gojo to like something human, to like something like, like an invention, He's literally like a tank, indestructible. Well, then, it, yeah, I would say a tank, indestructible. You can put on as much damage as you can, but it only would, but you would need something heavy as hell to be able to defeat him. And I even think that a tank can't even beat his, beat Gojo. So, yeah. Gojo, he that nigga. <laughs> Time. Levitation, teleportation, even expanding Limitless to fry his enemies. Gojo can also use positive energy to heal humongous wounds, and he's constantly refreshing his brain with it 24-7 to keep up with all of this. Still, there's Damn. one technique that costs more cursed energy than anything else in a sorcerer's repertoire. Every sorcerer is born with an innate domain, a mental world shaped by their mind Welcome and heart. Add cursed energy domain. to it, and these domains can be manifested physically, a technique called domain expansion. Bashing. Every sorcerer worth their salt needs one. And you know damn well Gojo has the scariest. Unlimited Void. You get caught in this, your ass is grass. Exposure to Unlimited Void overloads your consciousness with a stream of infinite information. A mere fifth of a second of exposure can leave a normal person in a vegetated state for months. Too bad it requires so much energy you can only do it like once a day. Oh wait, except for Gojo who has done it multiple times in a row. 
Thanks again, Six Eyes! Quite frankly, Gojo was getting so strong that the axis of the Jujutsu world began to turn on him. Like the meta of a fighting game defined by one broken character, he <laughs> defined the hierarchy of power in the sorcerer world. He alone was the honored one. His mere presence can cause earthquakes. He outran sonic explosions and applied cursed energy within a microsecond. Gojo has been repeatedly stated by many to be the strongest sorcerer there. Let me read this. His birth shifted the world. I can, like I said before, I may not be able to see, but whatever. Tremored an eight, tremored an 8,000 meter deep trench, obliterated buildings and forces, processed three years worth of information in one minute. Damn, I can't even process something in just 10 minutes, much less freaking three years of something. Healed from certain death impalement, fought against Sukuna, King of the Curses, defeated Dogo, there is his name, Jogo Hanim, Hanima, ha, ha, Nami, Hanami, Megami, Toji. What can I say? Gojo is built different. That. that includes his ex-student Hikari, who can dodge lightning, or this little oh, volcano-headed okay. cursed Jogo, the embodiment Jogo of is. humanity's fear of fire, who can bring down city-shattering meteors, and Gojo kicked his yes. ass with zero effort. But strength alone Literally. was not enough to fix his cursed world. When Ghetto rejected Jujutsu society to forge his own justice, Gojo's philosophy changed. Instead of doing everything himself, he would teach a new generation of sorcerers to carry the torch when he could not. It's all about setting an example. If it means a world where his companions can stand shoulder to shoulder as equals, who cares if he's got to show off a bit? Because he's just that type of nigga. He was <laughs> This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by HelloFresh. Shout Hello out to Fresh the Ass, but we just gonna skip that. Ah, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and a giant AK-47 carpet bombed the neighborhood. The what? sky rains blood, millions are dead. Dear God, whiz, it's the end times. Run away! Calm down, there's no reason to panic. It's just that in the world of Chainsaw Man, devils exist, and your fear makes yeah. them stronger. Never mind. Panic. Remember that spider you yeah, exactly. at for the last time you cut yourself dicing onions? Now the spider and knife devils are the monstrous products of your nightmares, and they hate you specifically. The fearsome gun devil stood as the epitome of terror and destruction, and was responsible for a countless loss of lives. But a group was formed to combat it and the other devils that plagued humanity. The Devil Hunters. Live in Japan and get yourself a pesky zombie problem? It's time to call the 4th Division of the Public Safety Devil Extermination. Look, I don't care what anybody say. I know, you know what? You know what? I was gonna wanna say something, but never mind. A government funded Devil Hunter unit oh. led by a stone cold vixen, Makama. She's dressed like. Not Makama. Get it right. It's Makima. Get it right. Say the name right. Put some respect or else she gonna put you in that mm, too. Or she toots your ass up too. It's Makima, not Makama. Or whatever how she, they pronounced it. Like Columbo with a blank stare at a sadistic streak. She's been in the game for a while and just found herself a new prize. The union of man and pet devil dog, mm. Denji, the Chainsaw Man. Upon meeting him, she gave him a choice. Live under her as a human dog or die Whoa. by her hand as a devil. Sounds sketch, but... Look, all I'm gonna say is, if I see somebody like Makima telling me that I have two choices, either she will sleep, let me be free as a as a human, live under a human, or she could just literally go like that to me and just kick me. And the and craziest thing is, she's a devil herself, but her but the thing with her is she's so powerful that nigga. Even if she does have like a devil power or whatnot, ain't nobody gonna try to kill her. The fuck? Cause her type of power? Bro, I remember where in one of the episodes where when you see her, her power, this basically like this. Her devil power is so powerful that nigga, there were, alright, 
let me describe the screen. The screen, the scene. There were six people lined up. Each of them had blindfolds, and even the freaking people who are with Makima has to be on blindfold, cause nobody's still out to see what her powers is and such of how she does it. And bro, one by one by one by one by one she killing everybody there and i think if i'm not mistaken right that they have to say a specific like say a specific name or something like that and then they instantly die like bro that is how powerful her power that's how powerful her devil power is <laughs> i know it's crazy to say like that but trust me if you want and look, I need to read. I need to watch more of my. I need to go back on my Jujutsu Kaisen. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But nah, that's how powerful this girl is. But Denji's brain was such a teenage boy, and Makama's hot. So in short order, Makama got a new pet. Makama. And what's also crazy? She's on that freak time too. Cause the thing is, with Denji, he don't need much. All he just needs to. All you just need is something to eat, somewhere to sleep, and then with the maki, and then, let's be honest, <laughs> this nigga love to feel some, <laughs> so, plus with Makima, she also promised him that if anyhow, she, he does what she says, she'll make him live, and a whole lot more, I'll never forget that scene. Where she literally got this man's thumb and bite it. I'm telling y'all, that scene she did it so sexually, like nigga. All I'm gonna say is, if you want me to be your dog and she's like her, all I'm gonna say is, ruff, ruff, head ass. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Cold vixen. Makama. She's dressed like Columbo with a blank stare and a sadistic streak. She's been in the game for a while and just found herself a new yes. prize. The union of man and pet devil dog, Denji, the Chainsaw Man. Upon meeting him, she gave him a choice. Live under her as a human dog or die by her hand as a devil. Sounds sketch, but Denji's brain was set to teenage boy and Makama's hot! So in short order, Makama got a new pet. Makama may seem terrifying at first, but she is a dog lover and a cinephile. Though, you'd be ill-advised to mess with her. Sure, for her position, you'd expect her to know how to defend herself. Martial arts here, swordplay there, but devil hunters like Makama become real threats when they make contracts with devils. A classic yeah, Faustian bargain. That's Give crazy. something of yourself. The devil gives you power. She and that's crazy to even think that in order to become like a devil hunter and such, you have to make a contract with a devil in order to get devil power. So in order to in order to get a power from the devil, you gotta sell something of that's just crazy. I'm so look. That's that's one of the that's one of the craziest ways to ever get like a superpower. That in order to get a power from them, you have to make a contract with them saying that you're gonna sell something of yours in order to gain some of their power. Crazy. She can call death upon anyone she chooses through a complicated ritual and even yeah, survive being saying. shot through the head. Because, as they yeah. say in the Devil Hunter world, you need your screws loose to live. But she might have more than a few screws loose because, yeah. in actuality, Makama is a devil herself. Gasp! There's no, no way this clearly evil character could be a villain in disguise. The Japanese government has been keeping a close. <laughs> Age unknown. Height 5'8. Imagine somebody 5'8 and that powerful, crazy. The control devil, that's what it is. Leader of the Public Safety Extermination Special Division 4. Likes Chainsaw Man, Dogs, Cinema. Dislikes, Disobedience, Bad Movies, Buffets. What's wrong? Why she don't like Buffet? Well, well I, did see, I did remember she wasn't much of a picky eater or so. But it is what it is. But yeah. All I'm going to say is, if she wants me to be her dog and such, so that way she don't kill me. Like I said. 
head ass. I'm barking out. Close eye on she wants me to bark ever since she before. was born. Rightfully uh, so. Wait. She isn't some F tier scrub like the bat or leech devils. She's nah. the control devil, embodying humanity's collective fear of the oppressor. In a way, she's even more terrifying than the gun devil. Magaba can exert absolute mental control over any creature she views as inferior to her, which is basically everyone. People, animals, even other devils become puppets under her command. She can even hijack their senses to listen and see whatever she wants. As a devil, Makama's far stronger, faster, and more durable than the average person. Plus, her metabolism lets her slam down as many beers as she wants to. So, uh, Makama, if you're into countlessly divorced alcoholic rednecks, uh, you know who to call. By drinking blood, she can heal her injuries, and her sense of smell is so potent that it can spot targets from over 300 miles away. Not only can she control your mind, but your body too with telekinesis. She she can mess up your internal organs or blow you away with finger guns. She doesn't shoot you with invisible bullets. She points at you and then a wound just happens out of nowhere. She controls all sorts of things with these ghostly chains that stab her victims. Once they're hooked, they're easier to control. Makaba has plenty of devils in her collection. There's the massive... Literally a puppeteer. That's literally the definition of a pup. That's not even like a puppeteer she's actually a puppeteer but she can literally she could be a air she could be an avatar without even being there look she is literally the definition of a literally could say a strong independent woman <laughs> and y'all be thinking i'm joking like that nah we no Look, hear me out when I say this. We in this in today's world we always hear women who are saying they're strong and independent. Nah, look here. It's one thing to say it, but with Makima, she actually lives it. With powers and all. So she's literally she can literally she's literally a strong independent woman. If she just wants to work if let that let it just say she can literally go kill somebody if she can just by either messing with their minds bending like controlling them like they're a freaking puppet twisting their insides and such like bro and all she has to and literally can just literally finger bang you pause on that but no freaking and such but nah don't even need a gun literally can just point her finger at you and you dead so trust me if that she is she is like so I'm gonna end it up with just saying she is literally a strong independent woman. <laughs> she doesn't shoot you with invisible bullets. She points at you and then a wound just happens out of nowhere. She controls all sorts of things with these ghostly chains, chains. that stab her victims. Once they're hooked, they're easier to control. Makaba has plenty of devils in her collection. There's the massive fox devil, the future devil for precognition, and a ton of devils that exist just to stab you. But I'm definitely all about the blow shit up devil, the undead party devil, the flamethrower oh. devil and the unholy matrimony that's the angel devil which will make you see god before you die eh, after about the 20th time seeing god gets kind of old anyway <clears throat> like other devils makama can form contracts with people to give them power but so she's formed contracts with the fox devil curse devil punishment devil mold devil stone devil future devil angel devil mantis devil Snake Devil and Zombie Devil. Hold on, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and freaking Spider Devil. So ele she's literally have eleven devils in her freaking, and she's. You could say she's she could be Sukuna's look. Sukuna, you may be the king of curses, but let's be honest. Even her ass would say, "Bitch, who are you?" <laughs> even Sukuna, you may be all powerful, but even with Makima, she they literally say she can kill kill other devils too. Not just 
She could literally want to kill another devil if she wanted to. So, Sukuna, you would be gone. That's all I'm saying. Unlike Sukuna other devils, her control powers allow her to force people into contracts that exclusively benefit her. Like when she forced Japan's prime minister into a contract that states, and I quote, <clears throat> any attack made on her will be changed into appropriate illnesses or accidents among Japanese citizens. Uh, what? The verbiage of Makuma's contract is worded specifically so that she quickly heals from any damage that is perceived to be an attack. When I, I'm, when I say when I saw that scene where I thought she was dead, but then later on you see she's alive, crazy. That is, that is. Crazy. Transferring said damage to some poor, random citizen of Japan. Oh man, imagine like taking a shit and Makama gets hit and whoops, guess you're wiping at the pearly gates. With these abilities and contracts, Makama set out to create the world that she wanted. No more pain, no more war, no more bad movies. The world would be perfect, but she needed the Chainsaw Devil to do so, who just so happened to be living as Denji's heart. Yep, that cute doggo is actually the Chainsaw Devil. Ooh, talk about shitty luck, kid. In the depths of hell, Makuma watched in awe as the Chainsaw Devil literally ate devils and eradicated plagues from existence. Because of the Chainsaw Devil, in this world... So fiends and hybrids, shark fiend, violent fiend, Reze the bomb hybrid, katana man, Flamethrower hybrid, crossbow hybrid, whip hybrid, spear hybrid, lungs. I'm guessing these are like, well, it could still be, it probably is manga. Well, I'm not saying probably is, it is probably manga. I just said, but fuck it. It is manga, but I'm pretty sure they already, y'all let me know. Is it still in the manga or have they done it in the anime already? Because I'm not current. I'm not up currently with Chainsaw Man, so... I'm mean, like at a total loss, so y'all let me know in the comments. Oh, I concepts I like see nuclear bombs, man. HIV, and even Nazis do not exist. He literally ate the concept of Nazis out of existence. However, as Makuma didn't see... Now that's something that we all can say. If anyhow that were to happen, praise... Praise be freaking Makima for doing Denji that. Denji or the Chainsaw Devil as beneath her, she could not directly control him. She needed to manipulate him. So she decided to build Denji up and then tear him down as cruelly as possible. First, she <laughs> murdered Denji's found family one by one. Then she made Chainsaw Man into a public hero, stripping him of the power devils received by being feared. Oh, so she could control her precious Chainsaw Devil and make him press backspace on anything she didn't like. Her kinetic bangs shot the chainsaw devil out of orbit and they stalemated the darkness devil which embodies humanity's greatest fears makima is stronger than devils like the bomb devil who can easily blow up buildings or the typhoon devil which made city spanning storms and while fighting the gun devil fragment this large behemoth moved over 300 miles in a few seconds she was pretty much unbeatable though ultimate power can make it pretty lonely at the top makima's quest may have been to make the world a better place through domination but the truth she was never willing to admit to herself was that she really wanted to understand human emotion. After all, you can't control someone and love them at the same time. Too bad she never quite found the answer she was looking for when the Chainsaw Man defeated her once and for all by cutting her to pieces, cooking her into a seven-course feast, and fucking ate her? Believe it or not, the love Makama tried to understand was her undoing. Despite the hell she put him through, Denji still loved Makama in his own way. So the act of devouring her was its own act of love and did not count as an attack, bypassing her immortality. Completely batshit insane. That's Chainsaw Man for you. Who knows, Wiz? Eventually, the control devil will come back, though it won't be Makuma. While her path back to hell was paved with good intentions, in the world of devils, it's no surprise that Makuma came so close to her ideal future. Hmm. Crazy. After all that... Hello, Moto. This what it is, what shit. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Better. We just gonna go straight into the battle. Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through. Ain't no way they just show Gojo doing the gritty. What the hell? <laughs> Hold up. They literally just show Gojo doing the gritty. Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. 
But first, a couple of rules for a unique fight like this one. We'll be considering right. curses and devils to be comparable beings to avoid arbitrary terminology in their power systems that might make this fight incompatible. We will also consider Gojo and Makuma citizens of the same Japan to balance it out. It's time for a death battle! Let's see how they do this one now. Alright, so we're going 8 bits. <laughs> Love this part. Well, kill the bench some flicks right about now. <laughs> but gotta kill you instead. Can't just let a curse do as they please. <laughs> No talking during the movie. Curse huh? technique laps. Did I say who was going to... Did I pick who was going to win? I said Gojo, right? If I said Gojo, then I'm going to Touching. Womp red. Ah. Ah. Careful. I can Sorry for that poor fool. I think that's gonna be a little hard to do now because they say that whenever she remember she can literally take anybody else's blood and whatnot and such and make her green. Regenerate herself, so it's kind of gonna be hard now to try to get her. Died, but that much won't matter to you soon. Don't worry, I'm Satoru Gojo, the strongest. <laughs> Confident, strong, and idiotic. You'll be sure to write it on your tombstone. such to like two I think that will be like 2D animation two yeah probably 2D animation I like how they do that huh? <laughs> I hope we don't kill you too quickly I should be good since you're so weak <laughs> bang <laughs> Like I say, nigga, don't even have a freaking real gun, and all she gotta just say is bang, and already you feel with blood. Or look at that, all she just saying is bang, 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 and you already feel with blood. Bang, 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 like nigga. Bang. There goes the leg. Now. Be a good boy and play dead. <laughs> Should I bark too? I'm getting really tired of your pets. <laughs> Domain expansion. Unlimited void. <laughs> Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. <laughs> so the new Saiyans is struggling. I've got news oh, for no. them. I stopped a thousand attackers. I think I was screen. Control devil. So do you think that place is offering discount? So two for two, nigga. Fuck is that? Fuck is you talking about? So I was right on the last week, and this one, nigga. I'm on. I'm on an undefeated streak. Fuck is you talking about? Too soon. Now order online.
Gojo and Makama were complicated to compare. On the surface level, Gojo had a lot going for him. It's no surprise given that his reputation in Jujutsu Kaisen is that of its pinnacle. At least it was. First of all, it's unlikely Makuma would see Gojo as inferior to her, in a similar way to how she saw Denji. So she wouldn't be able to immediately control Gojo. Gojo's birth caused a giant shift in the world of curses. Plenty of yeah, people like have recognized that after only seeing him once. Being better than everyone is literally Gojo's thing. Plus, Gojo. Yeah, like, nigga, come on now. If you were literally born, if you were literally, I don't know if people say you were born for greatness, but nah, nigga. Gojo, if a, if somebody was born into this world and it literally changed the fabric of how we are, of how we live in with curse energy and all that, Nick, just by first what, just by the first glance of them, nigga, I'm sorry, but me, I don't care how powerful I think I am with curses and all that, nigga. The fact that if he was literally born into the world and literally got the... I'm sorry, I'm, I would already just tap out. Gojo automatically out. refreshes his brain with positive cursed energy 24-7. Even if Makama could control him, it wouldn't last very long. Gojo yeah. is obviously stronger too. The best feat we can compare Makama to is the Typhoon Devil's Storms. But that's nothing compared to the meteor created by Jogo, who is leagues below Gojo in strength. However, considering she reacted to the Gun Devil Fragment, Makama would actually be a bit faster, though she would need to be able to get past Limitless for her speed to matter. Makama had more devils than you can shake a fin at, but most were rendered moot against Limitless. Knives, fire, bombs, zombies, it's all stuff Gojo's dealt with before, and with zero issues. And Gojo could easily wipe out her demonic crowd with red and blue whenever he wanted to. The future devil could clue her in on anything nasty coming her way, but that wouldn't last forever. Plus, with Gojo's six eyes and teleportation, she had zero opportunities to break away and set up her instant kill moves. But yeah. Gojo would obviously Too lose if he food. couldn't permanently kill Makama. Six eyes couldn't inform him of Makama's contract with the Prime Minister, and eventually one of Gojo's attacks could cause his death instead even if it took a while. And Makuma did have a way past Limitless with her finger guns. Makuma could land attacks directly on Gojo's body, meaning there's no projectile for Limitless to detect and infinitely slow down. Though when they did land, Gojo's healing ensured that he repaired his body quickly. On the flip side, Makuma didn't have a counter to Gojo's yeah. domain expansion. Yeah, once you get trapped in that, you ain't, I don't care, you may, I don't care if you're called the powerful, the control devil. Once you're in that infinite void, it don't matter how powerful you think you are, you not finna, you not finna win. I'm sorry. Unlimited void overloads its target Mikey with Mikey unlimited you, information. You that, it's not done. really an attack. You could call it an attack on the senses, but even if she could transfer it to other Japanese citizens, she still could not escape an infinite amount of information. We can compare this to the Doll Devil, who was defeated by a technique similar to Unlimited Void. Despite being able to transfer her mind across a large number of hosts, the Doll Devil was still trying to transfer infinite information across finite people. Even with all of Japan as mental meat shields, Makamo would still be overwhelmed. Wait, doesn't that mean Gojo just unintentionally killed basically everyone in Japan? Don't think about it. Regardless, Gojo is immune to his own Unlimited Void, so he was still unaffected. Good for him. The moment Unlimited Void landed, Makuma would be stuck, yeah. opening her up for a good old hollow purple. Her contract isn't perfect. Makuma only ever regenerated as long as there was some mass to come back from. But hollow purple disintegrates anything it touches to zero. Literally, there's no way she was regenerating from that. Sure, yeah. control as a concept will always exist, but a reincarnation of the control devil isn't Makuma. This was one of the craziest fights we've ever had. However, with Gojo's raw power, broken counters, and unbelievably busted Limitless, Makuma lost control over this fight. Makuma thought she had Gojo by the ball and chain, but in the end, she was left hollow. The winner is Satoru Gojo. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and hey, are you a Death Battle member? We've got a ballot going on right see, now where members next. get to choose a matchup for the next season. So click that join button and jump into our champions discord. Let's see what they got. Let's see who's next time. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo versus Courage the Cowardly Dog. What? I got. And you because it's. I don't know it's gonna be past Halloween, but 
really? Scooby Doo? So two dogs who freaking hate haunted shit. You gonna let them battle? I mean, hey, I can't wait to see how they explain that one. But look, like I said, two for two on these death battles and such from the ones I've reacted to. This one and the Freezer versus Megatron one. Let's see if I can get my. Hopefully, for that one, I can get it keep on going. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this reaction down in the comments below. And hey, if you made it to the end of this reaction, comment down below, Infinite Void. And that makes me know you made it to the end. I'll give you a little heart. But it's been your boy, Homer Ziggy, signing out. Check out my other reactions right here. We on the road to 2K, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video. Because look here, man. I'm looking at my analytics. Come on, man. Help me. Help. Help. If y'all really fans of me, help me out. Hit that subs Make sure y'all get fans of y'all to hit that subscribe button. But either way, like I said, see the two reactions right there. Go watch them shits. And follow me on all my socials up there. So, stay positive. Keep the vibes up. Almost forgot my outro. Lego.